Hi there, this is Kevin Newell for TotalFisherman.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to tie a sturgeon leader. This is something that's relatively simple but a lot of people don't understand the ins and outs of. So here are the uh, necessary components of what we're going to do today. I like to use Gamakatsu 8 dot circle hooks and we're going to make these barbless for, uh, for our sturgeon leaders. This is Dacron line. A lot of times we typically use braided line, uh, whether it's Dacron or it's a Spectra something t like Tough Line or, or Power Pro. And this is a 130 pound test, as you can see. We also like to use a 130 pound test braid. The uh, regular Tough Line or, or Suffix braid or Strin Super Braid, those tend to be a little tougher, a uh, little bit more durable, and longer lasting. But for the sake of the video, this is going to, uh, this old standby Dacron is going to show up really well on the camera. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to make these hooks barbless to start out with. Uh, it's the right thing to do for sturgeon and it's also the law in most areas. Uh, and it's definitely the law here in uh, Oregon and Washington on the Columbia and Willamette rivers where we fish a lot. Go ahead and take your needle nose or whatever pair of pliers you happen to have available and really mash on that barb until you either get it mashed down or until you completely break it off. Uh, the nice thing about a circle hook is that uh, even though you're lacking the barb, the circle part, the real jogged over tip of the hook keeps that from coming out of the fish's mouth easily. Uh, we go with a little bit larger hook uh, than would typically be used. That way there's enough room here to get a good purchase on the fish's mouth. Uh, normally you could get away with a, a 6 odd or a 7 odd hook but with a circle hook, I wouldn't go any smaller than a 7 aught. 8 aught seems to be just about the perfect size. These are Gamakatsu hooks, and uh, they make a fantastic circle hook, and these uh, are definitely my hook of preference. been using them for a long time, and I'm extremely happy with them. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys. I like to get quite a bit of leader. You'll see folks using a short leader, and I think that that's kind of silly because a sturgeon has a sharp body. And having a short leader means that when he rolls up on it, he's going to cut your main line. And your main line is probably only going to be 50 or 65 pound line material rather than this 130. So, so go with a longer leader rather than shorter. This is about 5 feet long here. It also, when you start to weed up, if it's, it's, if it's a big tide or you're fishing an area that's weedy, it's going to keep the weeds off your hook because they're going to collect up by your lead and not get down around your bait. So the first thing we do to tie this sturgeon leader is take the tag end of the leader material, put it through the eye of the hook, take one, two, three, four wraps back over the shank of the hook and over the tag end that you put in there. Again, I'll show that again. So we stuck it through like that. Okay, and then wrap back over one, two, three, four times. Hold that with your thumb and index finger of your right hand, like so. Gather this up. Take the other portion of the other end of the line, and you can pass that through the eye of the hook, like so. And then one, two, three, four times through. Hold that like that, and draw all of this back through making sure that this part of it stays on the back side of the hook that way you don't mess it up at the very end okay let's john through like that that's the way it should look okay it's also known as an egg loop knot that's exactly how you tie an egg loop knot you have this okay and then pull on the tag end pull on the standing portion tighten it up Okay, it's nice and tight. Go ahead and take your scissors, cut off a little bit there. Okay, so you've finished that portion, and then at the very tip, when you're fast and furious into the sturgeon, you're going to want to be able to change your leaders rapidly so you can get rebated, get back in the water. With normal Dacron, you can just do one overhand knot. When you're using standard braid, such as Toughline XP, you want to do 
two overhand knots. So what we're doing is we're making a loop at the end of this. Okay, so like so. Gather that up. Over and through. Then over and through again. And then just tighten that down. Okay. And all I've done is made a real nice little loop at the end. Make sure it's all tight. Cut that off. And there you have it. That's our sturgeon leader. Make sure that you change these out, guys, before they get frayed up. Circle hooks tend to stay sharp for a very long time, so they definitely last. And check out our website. At the end of the video, there will be a link. And we've got a great deal on these gamakatsu hooks. And you guys can take advantage of that through us. Again, visit us next time, TotalFisherman.com. And I'm Kevin Newell. Thank you.